In this video, we'll understand the concept of expansions, which some books also refer as algebraic identities. So basically, it has a lot of formula that we need to apply. So if you remember the formula, you can easily apply them and score more in this chapter. So let's start with it. So first we have is a plus b the whole square. So when you expand it, we all know this formula: a squared plus two ab plus b squared. Similarly, we have formula of a minus b the whole square, which is equal to a squared minus two ab plus b squared. Now, if I add these two formula, so what do I get? A plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square. So if I add them, automatically this two ab and minus two ab will can get cancelled. So we'll get two a square plus two b square. We can take this two common. So this will be a square plus b square. So we have a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square is equal to twice of a square plus b square. Similarly, we can subtract these two. So it'll be a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square is equal to. Now in this case, when I subtract them, the sign changes like this. So I can strike it off this, strike it off this. So I get the answer as 4ab. So this is how you can just add them and subtract them, and you can get two more formula like a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square root twice of a square plus b square, and a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square is equal to 4ab. Similarly, we have one more set that is. A plus one upon a the whole square. Now this will be equal to a square plus one upon a square plus two. Now as we saw here, a square plus b square plus two a b. In this case, b is one upon a only, so it will be a into one upon a. So we can cancel this a, a, so our formula becomes a square plus one upon a square plus two. Similarly, if I have to go for a minus one upon a the whole square, that will be equal to a square plus one upon a square. In this case, it will be minus two because we have minus two a. Similarly, we can add these two again, so it will be a plus one upon a the whole square plus a minus one upon a the whole square. So of course, this two a two gets cancelled, so we get twice of A square plus one upon a square. It is very much similar to what we did here. Similarly, if we subtract them, that is a plus one upon a the whole square minus a minus one upon a the whole square is equal to. Now, in this case, because if we subtract, so sign of everything changes, so these two gets cancelled, and you get four as the answer. So depending on what is asked in the question, what is given in the question, you can apply any of these eight formula. Now let us see a question to understand this concept better. So we have a question here: If a minus b is equal to four and a plus b is equal to six, find the value of a square plus b square and ab. Now when I'm supposed to find a square plus plus b square, I will use the formula a plus b the whole square. Plus a minus b the whole square is equal to twice of a square plus b square. For this question, this is known to me. A plus b is known to me. A minus b is known to me, and I'm supposed to find a square plus b square. Let's just put the values here. So a plus b is six. So six square plus four square is equal to twice of a square plus b square. This is equal to thirty-six. Plus 16. This is equal to twice of a square plus b square. When we add them, we get 2. Uh, 52 upon 2 is equal to a square plus b square. So we can say a square plus b square is equal to 26. In the second part, we are supposed to find a b. So we will now use the formula. A plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square. This is equal to four a b. 
Let's simply put the values again. A plus B is 6, so this will be 36. Minus A minus B is 4, so it will be 16 is equal to 4AB. 16 minus 36 is 20. So 20 upon 4 is equal to AB. This implies AB is equal to 5. So this is how we applied different formulas because different quantities were asked to us and based on the given information. Now let us understand some cubic formula. So let us start with the basic one that is A plus B the whole cube. So A plus B the whole cube is equal to A cube plus B cube plus 3AB into A plus B. We can further expand it and make it 3A square B plus 3AB square. Similarly, A minus B the whole cube is equal to A cube minus B cube minus 3AB into A minus B. Now, when you expand this one, it will be minus 3A square B plus because this minus into minus will become plus. So, plus 3AB square. Always remember when you are writing this bracket form, so if you have plus here, so everything will be plus. If you have minus here, everything will be minus. Now, let us just take the other part of it. That is if I have A plus 1 upon A the whole cube. So simply this B gets replaced by 1 upon A. So the formula becomes A cube plus 1 upon A cube plus 3. Now it will be no more having 3 AB because this A and B can get cancelled. So it will be just 3 into a plus 1 upon a. Similarly, a minus 1 upon a, the whole cube is equal to a cube minus 1 upon a cube minus 3 into a minus 1 upon a. Now, two very important formula that we use for in multiple chapters, the cubic ones are a cube plus b cube. This is a very important formula. So, a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b in one bracket. The other one a square minus a b plus b square. Similarly, when we have a cube minus b cube, it will be a minus b in one bracket and a square plus a b plus b square in the other bracket. A simple trick to remember this, if you have plus here, the first bracket will be plus and second in the second one, only ab will be minus. In case we have minus in between here, so my first bracket will be minus and in the second bracket, everything will be positive. Your a square and b square will be positive always. This ab depends upon the, the, the part, that is if it is plus here, it will be minus here, if it is minus here, it will be plus here. So these are very important cubic formula which we'll be using in the further questions. Now this is a very important type of question that is usually asked in the exam. So let's just take that. It is given that if a square plus 1 upon a square is equal to 18 and a is not equal to 0, find the value of a minus 1 upon a and a cube minus 1 upon a cube. We'll go one step by step. So because we are given a square plus 1 upon a square and we are supposed to find a minus 1 upon a here. So let's apply the formula that is a minus 1 upon a the whole square is equal to a square plus 1 upon a square minus 2 here because we have minus here so it will be minus 2. We will just put the value of a square plus 1 upon a square that is 18 minus 2 which is equal to 16. So, a minus 1 upon a, we will take the square root on both sides, so it will be plus or minus 4. This plus or minus is important because it is, because it is a whole square. Because, uh, so, the square of plus 4 is also 16 and minus 4 is also 16, so we will take plus or minus 4. So, this is my answer for the first part. In the second part, we are supposed to find a cube minus 1 upon a cube. So, what we will do is, we will simply cube both sides here, that is a minus 1 upon a is equal to 4 is known to us. We cube both sides now because we want the cubic answer. So, if we expand this, this is a cube minus b cube minus 3 into a minus b is equal to 
4 cube is 64. So, this is something which you are supposed to find. Here we can put the value. So, a cube minus 1 upon a cube minus 3. a minus 1 upon a we have just calculated as 4. This is 4 is equal to 64. So, a cube minus 1 upon a cube is equal to 64 plus 12. We just simply add this. So, we get a cube minus 1 upon a cube is equal to 76. So, this is how you can just apply the formula. If you know the formula, you can easy apply, easily apply them and get the answers. This chapter is not so difficult as the kids perceive it to be if you remember the formula well. Now, there is a very important property in expansions that is if a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then a cube plus b cube plus c cube is equal to 3abc. This is a very important property but you have to just check one thing before applying it that the sum of all the terms that is a plus b plus c should be equal to 0. Now, let us evaluate this question 7 cube plus 3 cube minus 10 cube here. So, here 7 plus 3 minus 10 will be equal to 0. Therefore, 7 cube plus 3 cube plus minus 10 the whole cube will be equal to 3 is 7 b is 3 and c is minus 10. You are supposed to take the a, b, c along with the sign here. So, we just multiply them. 3, 3 is 9, 9, 7 is 63. So, the minus 630 is my answer. So, it is a very important property and you can try more questions from your textbooks and the reference book using these formulas.